My name is Nassim Sabs. And my new attitude is paying off. Look at my Cuba policy. The Castro brothers are here tonight. And one of the ways that he wants people to believe is that it's perfectly okay and fine to force people, berate people, and control people in what they do and how they think. Forcing people to do things they don't want to do, forcing people to think things that they don't want to think, forcing people to partake in things that they don't want to partake, that's the devil. And the devil wants other people to believe that it's perfectly okay for people to force other people to do things. Force it. So let's just force everything. Let's just force people to do it. Let's just because we have the right to do it. So and and how and that's that's the lie that they believe. They believe that they can force people to do things because they have the right to force people to do things. And no one has the right to force to force anyone to do anything. No one has that right to force it. No one has the right to do that. But they say that we have the right to do it because if you don't do what we're forcing you to do, we're going to punish you. You are going to be punished. That's where our right comes to force you to do things is because we're going to punish you. And so if you don't do what we are forcing you to do because it's our right to force you, then you're going to suffer the consequences and be punished and you're going to be traumatized and you're going to be hurt and you're going to be everything else and then that's it. And, and God is blessing that. God is going to bless that. God is going to bless people that are like that. No, he's not. That's not God's character. God doesn't bless people that are going to be partaking in things of that kind of nature. That's, a, that's cursed stuff to be doing things like that. Every time a person forces somebody else to do something, that is against their will that they have and I do believe in I do believe in will I do believe people have wills and I do believe people have choices it's just they're not free it's not a free choice and it's not a free type of will but I do believe that they exist and that people make choices every day but they're not free choices so if a person comes along or a group of people come along and force you to do something that you don't want to do that is against your will and they say if you don't do it we're gonna hurt you that's demonic 100% demonic and I don't care what the name of the group of people is the name of the individual people in that group the name of whatever whoever it is it's demonic it's demonic God never said for a for a for people or a group of people to run around, get together, and force another group of people to do things. Where did God say that? He didn't say it. God never said to do that. People do it. The devil said to do that. People say to do that. The devil says it's okay to do that. People say it's okay to do that. And so, where's the argument? The argument that they say is render unto Caesar that which is Caesar render unto God that which is God's well guess what God made everything God owns everything Caesar doesn't owe any own anything O W N and so therefore because Caesar owns nothing you don't owe him nothing you don't need to render anything to Caesar because he doesn't own nothing God made everything. And so where does Caesar is like a little speck? God is the big one. God is the owner. God is the creator. God owns everything. What does Caesar own? Nothing. 
nothing. And so I'm not going to render nothing to Caesar because he doesn't own nothing. Because God owns everything. So render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, which is render unto a speck nothingness, and render unto God that which is God, render unto the all-powerful, most infinite person, forever creator, that which is his, which is everything of yours. And so that's how I that's how I look at it. Render the speck, render unto the speck nothing, because it's a speck. Render unto God the most powerful, the most all knowing, all powerful, all everything good, that which is God's, which is everything of yours. So I'm gonna render unto God my all. And I'm going to render unto the spec not even a thing. And so, there you go. Right there. Right there. So, that's it. I mean, what else? Oh, yeah. Romans 13. Well, I already firmly believe that the Bible has been tampered with. Been uh, messed with. Because, check it out. Why do I believe that the Bible has been tampered with and messed with? Because, in two parts of the Bible, it says that if anyone changes, adds to, or takes away the words from this book, he's cursed. Why would there be a warning about that? You obviously know human nature that people do look at the warning and they do the opposite automatically. And so because it says that anyone that adds to, takes away, or changes anything, is cursed, then you know that people have done it already in the past. That's why I believe that the Bible has already been tampered with, because the Bible is talking about it. And so, you have a group of people running around with guns, saying, if you don't do everything we say, we're going to kill you. If you resist in any way... Shape or form, we're going to kill you. If you don't do everything we say, we're going to lock you up. If you don't do every single thing we say, even if the things that we say go against your own self-interest, we're going to kill you. We're going to take everything you have away from you. We're going to take your house away. We're going to take your children away. We're going to take all of your money away. We're going to we're going to take away every single thing you have if you don't do what we say even if it goes against your own well-being. Even if what we say includes hurting yourself or hurting your family, if you don't do it, we're going to kill you. And so God is going to bless that kind of thing? No. That's a very demonic thing. That's a very demonic thing. Wherefore, ye must needs submit, not only because of the wrath, but also for conscience. Okay. You, wherefore, ye must needs submit okay ye you wherefore you must submit okay you have to submit I have to submit so who is doing the submitting you me human beings why should we submit because we're afraid that if we don't submit to God, bad things are going to happen to us. Well, that's one reason, but that's not the only reason. It's also because of what, what your conscience is telling you. It's not just because you're afraid of the wrath being poured on top of you. It's also because you have a conscience. And your conscience is saying, to submit to God because it's good, it's right. So, who is the only person 
that exists that you are sub supposed to submit to, that I am supposed to submit to, that human beings are supposed to submit to, who is the only person that we are submitting ourselves to? Are we submitting ourselves to other human beings? No. We are submitting ourselves to God. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you like a freaking coward. Because that's what every single devil is, is a coward. Satan is a coward. The fallen angels are cowards. The demons are cowards. They're not brave. Satan isn't brave. The fallen angels aren't brave. They're not courageous. Demons aren't brave. Demons aren't courageous. Satan, the fallen angels, the demons, they're cowards. And they're fearful and they're scared. All the time of God and of Jesus and of the blood of Jesus. Okay, so that's who we're submitting ourselves to. Jesus, God, the Father, Holy Spirit. And that's the only person that human beings are supposed to be submitted to.